Hello racers and welcome to a new episode of the Circuit Experience with your host Silver Grey Racer and today we are finally at the Nürburgring Neuschleifer to do the final gold medal of Circuit Experience now to be honest with you I was sort of pretty it's the only gold medal I haven't got so practicing for the Lewis Hamilton time trial I thought I would practice to see I could get all the gold medals and get this gold medal so I went through all the stages and apart from one which I think was um yes sect, sector sector 11 and that was like the 22nd stage that was the only one I couldn't get um more than a second clear of I set new records for all of them as we start the lap now um the first corner is important that you get it semi right and that wasn't bad I wasn't too slow now coming off this curb you've got to get high speed here and you've got to take that well and then as you come around here you'll see two sets of writing on the track right there that's where you start breaking and you take a late late apex there and that's where you, I would normally come off so I did practice this this was one of four stages that I didn't get gold medal straight away on so I had to practice this sector um, about 20 times before I consistently got a gold medal um, so I went through it um, sector 4 was also a problem sector 7 and 8 and 9 they were also problems now as we come through here this is you've got to learn to take this flat out in fifth gear if you can't then you, you're gonna struggle um, well especially in this car anyway because you're doing certain experiences you can't change cars but so yes this part here again you've got to learn to take this roughly at full well in six gear and then you see where the break the line is where the tarmac changes color that's where you start breaking and you drop down to second gear as you come through the second set of gates there as you can see okay on the first sector I was some two seconds slower than the gold medal driver and at the end of that sector I was two seconds behind them again so that's not bad if I can drop a second every sector I'm still gonna be in, I'm still gonna go for gold medal now these that turning did give me a problem too I was all right up into that but you've got to get that crooked late apex but you've got to go far on the right to cut in I know it's easy to talk about after you've seen it but again this one here I normally swung up right into those crash barriers so almost done it again but done well you can take this corner at third gear if you get the right line but I didn't have the right line so I didn't do it and again here all you can do it in third but I've only done it once or twice you have to be on the right line or it's gonna push you wide and this is all fourth gear here. you do have to slow down I haven't managed to take it in fifth gear I always go off into the barrier there so that's why it's fourth there so, so coming up to this one here we go around this first part here and we'll get another time stamp here a little bit of a wiggle there but not too much there we go so we're at one 229 there okay and we were at, at stage four the, no sorry gold medal driver was at 229 there and I'm at 233 so I've dropped four seconds so far so that's again that's not bad I, I, I'm seeing that as a positive we're still on course now we, this is also an awkward turning you've got I, I slowed down the first gear just to make sure I didn't come off there because I took that a little bit later than I usually do because that's one of the areas where you can gain time on that corner um, now the back I like to call this the back straight for some reason but it's not straight but I never managed to get up to full speed on it quite late here but I think that's a problem this is deceptive part of the track I feel it, it, it seems to be faster than it actually is as we come here now there is I do find a problem here is you've got to slow down here and make sure you don't come off there now oh, that was rough wasn't it but at least I don't come off the track I got the feeling if I don't come off the track in any way shape or form costing me three or four seconds I should be able to get around it as we come through that turning dropping down to second now that little 
group of corners there does call me a problem because they look similar to me so I get them confused as we come up to the first carousel now you've got to do this between 55 and 60 so I am not doing too bad there or oh, a little bit wide there but I'm happy with that I still didn't come off that's all I'm looking for um, so I mean this is the key for me at the moment is not to come off um, so as we go around it you've got to be careful of the safety inspector's hut here right in front of us there you've got to drop down a second stay on it longer than you usually do like they do in the tutorial there and then you're up into fourth gear now your fourth gear all the way down here all the way down here now I like to drop down as you see I dropped a bit early there because I kept coming off here this is another awkward part of the, the circuit that I struggle on so I drop down a second so I don't go out wide but I, I need to keep the speed up there if you don't keep the speed up there you're not going to get gold so and here's the other corner I have trouble with as you can see just about hold it on there and then you start breaking at the end of the curbs there now I find if I don't drop into second there I swing wide so that's why I dropped into second there now coming to the back end of the track in now this I find that it's difficult when it drops you've got to get the brake in right when it drops here we come up to drop there you just got to drop to fourth gear there and I like to take it in third I know it's slow but as you can see if I'd have been in fourth gear I probably would have took it properly there but that was my fault but we're still on course at the moment as you can see we're doing nicely at the moment now this is also another hard sector you've got to be in sixth gear to take this properly I find if you're not in sixth gear you move around too much and as we come up to the corner here well, this always gives me trouble but we're, we're done well there We've took that nicely we've not one right there and we're coming into the second carousel now that's a bit rough but we didn't come off so i'm taking it and that you've got a break just after the writing on the floor there or a lot later and then this is the one where i never broke the um the gold medal by more than a second i was three or four tenths off of it as we come up to the back straight now this is the home straight before we go into it and as you can see there we've got 610 so we've got 47 seconds to get to the end here now the key is when you get to obviously this is all flat out here so it, the key is is when you come into the final sector is the first couple of corners you still got to take that full speed as we come in now this is what's gonna as you come up here now you've got to carry on full speed full speed I break that a little bit earlier than I should do because I always lose it around here and I stayed on the track that's the first time I think I stayed on that corner and oh don't run wide don't run wide oh got it there we go now and oh, yes we're over the line and there you go six minutes 56.156 and there's the gold medal and that is circuit experience finished finally i believe gran turismo had me at 245 days that i was logged on for um i i haven't really played it since july to be honest with you since i've done the monthly update um i think that was in july or august that was the last time i really done it so the fact that it's on lewis hamilton circuit experience as um made it so much better for me as you can see we're doing the gold medal gloat there as we come out now you can see the money we got and there we go there's the rewards all golds achieved and we get the free car now i was expecting a nice car here to be honest with you something worthy of finishing it but obviously not because we got that a fair lady i believe it is there we go not exactly the car I was looking for. A nice Jag wouldn't have gone amiss. Or a Batmobile with a programmable triangle button for rammers. There we go. And that is the wonderful end of the circuit experience. I would like to thank you for staying with me for this series. We've got the Lewis Hamilton one halfway through. And again, the daily, the daily workout completed. So I'm getting a free car there. I thought I'd just leave it there for amusement there again would have liked that car but i ended up getting again what was it the worst car in the game never mind yes i've got the lewis hamilton time trial series coming up again so i'm, I'm going to put some more of those out tomorrow but this is the end of it so 
I would like to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you on the next slap.